Hi guys, if you're looking for a scanner app, this full tutorial on cam scanner is for you. Welcome to our Scarf Plan DIY tutorial tips and blog. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button. Thank you. So let's start. First, we have to download it to the Play Store and search for the cam scanner app. Once again, click the install and once done installing, let's open the app. For me, I subscribed to its premium account because it was convenient for me and so we can use its all features. Don't you worry guys, it has free 3 days trial so we can unsubscribe it if we cannot afford to pay 2600 per year. Uh, don't you worry guys, you can unsubscribe before 3 days so we cannot be charged through our Gcash account. So. We can start by clicking the camera button and get ready for the documents that we wanted to scan. First, we have to discuss the docs or the documents function of the cam scanner. Here, I'm going to scan a letter. Also guys, if you are a student or has a education email, you can use it so you can have a premium account for free. So, kapag tingin yung okay na, click nyo lang yung next button and it will automatically fall into a magic color filter. But for me, I prefer the no shadow beta version filter. After that, uh, we can still edit the, the, the documents that we scan. Just click the markup button below and it has different options to choose from. First, we have to smudge it where we can use the brush function or the brush button where we can doodle to the desired area that we want or for the easiest part we can use the rectangular button where we can place it on the area where we want it to hide or to smudge and there you go as easy as that no more markings or shadows sa gilid ng smudge button meron tayong parang picker dito or color picker where we can select the color that we wanted yan, magagaya nyo yan so, kapag nag brush tayo, ayun na yung magiging color ng document or ng isusulat nya, pero we can still use the undo button kung ayaw natin ng ganun, the next function is anti-counterfeit so dito, mayroon siyang lalabas na watermarks which is the confidential. Pinalitan ko lang siya ng RRs ka RT hand kasi pwede naman. So, the next one is the add annotation where we can highlight a specific word or phrase. We can use the pen or pencil or the highlighter button. So, here we go as easy as that so you can adjust the size and the color of the annotations that you want here you can also add a watermark and a text so parang pares lang sila dun ang pinagkainin ba nila sa counterfeit yung counterfeit nasa buong papel yung text specific places lang so there you go we can also add a signature and as you can see, meron na ako nakaredding signature. We can import from our album or we can scan directly through the, the cam scanner app. So, ayan lang. Ipinapakita lang niya, I'm using a blue ball pen and kaya niya itong gawing black. So, ganyan ka powerful ang cam scanner. Kung sa tingin niyo okay na yung documents na scan niyo or na edit niyo, Yes, pwede na tayo mag proceed sa sharing of files. Um, I-check lang natin yung check button sa gilid. And click lang natin yung share button sa taas. So, we can share it to different platforms or different format. First, we have to share it through PDF yung isa-share natin. So, pwede ka mamili kung dalawang page yung gusto mong scan or isa lang. So, pwede rin natin siyang i-rename para madali natin malaman kung saan natin si name. At kapag klinik natin yung PDF setting sa gilid, pwede natin baguhin yung PDF size, yung PDF password, and yung PDF 
number, page number. Pwedeng lagyan, pwedeng wala. It's optional. It's up to you guys. So, sa password, syempre, we have to create a password. At pag in-open nito, nang pagsisenda natin, syempre, ibibigay mo yung password sa kanya. Para kayo lang yung makaka-open, di ba? Wala na mga marites na makaka-open na iba. So, kung pag-try na natin i-save sa local, may sinasabi siya kung saan daw si name. So, doon... Punta tayo sa file manager and under file manager na sa internal storage siya, sa cam scanner folder and kapag inopen natin ito, merong mga different format. So, doon tayo pupunta sa PDF kasi PDF yung sinave natin. So, kapag inopen natin to in an another app which is the WPS ayun na. Hihinga na tayo ng password. So, napakaganda nitong cam scanner premium account. So, there you go guys. Na-open na natin kasi alam naman natin yung password. The next is we have to save it as an image. So, ganun lang kadali. Na-save na agad sa gallery natin. The next function is the photograph to Word. Where? Kung saan ang in-scan nating documents ay automatically gagawin niyang Word file. So, napakadali at napaka-smooth gamitin ng premium cam scanner account. So, mag-antay lang tayo ng ilang click and there you go guys. Napakaganda ng cam scanner. Meron nang converted tayo ng in-scan natin into Word. Hindi na niya tayo papahirapan pa, ba diba? Pwede na tayo mag-edit-edit, chubanes. So, ayan na guys. Next function is we can save it to Word as text or as an image. Siyempre, kaya nga tayo na sa Word, isave natin as a Word. Pwedeng send natin diretso agad sa email. Or pwede namang save natin dun sa document sa cellphone natin. So, pagka inopen natin yan, yung na-download natin, ayan na guys, ba diba? Bonggang bongga, pwede ka nang mag-edit. Hindi ka na niya papahirapang mag-type pa ulit. The next functions that we have to discuss is the to text function. Ito naman ay ang optical character recognition or yung OCR. So lahat ng i-scan natin, lahat ng mga text na nandiyan, kung anumang image ang nandiyan, gagawin niyang text, di ba? Bonggam bongga. So ayan na, nakagawa na siya ng text agad. Dear Mayor Soto, so ayan na. So we can share this text Pwede natin siyang i-share as a word and pwede ring diretso natin agad sa messages. So, syempre, we have to choose the messenger. So, kapag in-open natin siya sa messenger, ayun na siya. Naka-text file siya or hindi siya naka-scan file. So, napakaganda niya guys, di ba? Hindi ka na mahihirapang mag-type pa. So, another function is we can send it directly to the computer. We just have to select the desktop icon and kapag nasa computer na tayo, itype lang natin d.cscan.co where is may lalabas na QR code kung saan pipicturean lang natin yun gamit yung cam scanner and then ayun na, bonggam bongga, nasa computer mo na agad yung files na gusto mong mapunta sa computer. Wala ka nang gagawin pang iba. ba diba? Social na social. So, dalawa yung sinave ko, isang PDF file at saka isang Word file. So, sa PDF file, kung ano yung picture mo, yun yung lalabas. Sa Word file, medyo gulo-gulo siya kasi yung in-scan mismo natin ng na documents ay may mga um, blank or may mga itim-itim na tinakpan ko, di ba, kanina. So, the next function is the to Excel file, or we can scan at co-convert niya directly into an Excel file. So, yung in-scan ko kanina, tignan nyo naman, na-convert niya na agad sa Excel file, di ba, napaka-bongga. Ang next function is the ID card function, where we can scan a ID ng walang kahirap-hirap, Pwede na siyang maging isan natin agad ng ganyang format. Pwede pa natin i-edit pa. So, ayan na. Hindi niya na tayo papahirapan mag-scan ng back-to-back. Pwede rin namang isend to as an image. Pero I prefer this type na nasa A4 siya. The next function is the pag pinundit pa natin tong more, meron tong greeting card. Where you can customize your greeting card. Ang kagandahan dito, sulat mo ang mapupunta doon sa Um, images na naka-format na. So, napakaganda niya, guys. ba diba? Try pa natin itong isa. So, ayan. Pwede mo itong isave as PDF or as an JPEG.
So, ayan na guys. Kung may natutunan kayo, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and palike na rin. Thank you so much. Keep safe.